We need a witness. What are you doing there? I've seen you draw our plans for a cathedral. Maybe we can do something similar to find our witness. Let's see. Your father. He looks just like you. My grandmother said he did. And Bishop Waleran. What are the connections? Maybe, by exploring them, we can find a witness. Good idea. Jack's father. If he was still with us, he could be our witness. Maybe he still can. Bishop Whaler is at the center of all this. Mother says Whaler was behind my father's death. And she said he wasn't alone. There were three men responsible for your father's death. Bishop Whaler, Percy Hamley, Back then, he was the Sheriff of Shiring, and Prior James of Kingsbridge. If they were all there, then they were all witnesses. And only Waleran still alive. Hardly a coincidence. Why would these three men work together to falsely accuse your father? Hmm. He was on the White Ship. No one survived that night. No one lived to tell the story. Yes. He was the sole survivor. And then they killed him. But why? William Hamley's father. Now, what about Prior James? And what about the ship? Why would Whaler and Percy and James be concerned about the white ship? The son and heir of King Henry was on board. So were other possible heirs and other members of the royal household. I heard that Stephen was supposed to be on the ship as well, but became ill. He was the only male heir. The only threats were the king's daughter Maud and her half-brother Earl Robert, and they've been at war ever since. And your father, Earl Bartholomew. He was a threat. He tried to stop Stephen and paid for that with his life. Maybe my father saw something on the white ship. Proof that Stephen was involved. Hmm. What about the king? Percy Hamley was poisoned. One less witness it knew about Waleran. And Waleran probably wanted William to become Earl. He was easier to control than his father. What about Regan Hamley? She survived. She was taken to her townhouse in Winchester. And in her condition, she might not be able to help at all. So, what about Prior James and Waleran? Waleran was not yet bishop when the hanging took place. He was archdeacon. Philip told me. But James still had to do what Waleran told him to? I think that's very likely. Stephen always claimed that it had been God's will that he was not on that ship that he remained as the only male heir. That wasn't God. I bet Stephen had a hand in the sinking of the ship. 
Now imagine what would have happened if he had learned that someone survived. Someone who might have seen what really happened that night. If Stephen was responsible for the sinking of the white ship, then he may have wanted the only witness of what really happened to disappear. But he wouldn't have done it himself, of course. No. If the white ship is involved, then it's likely that Waylaren was told by King Stephen to murder your father. But he was not king back then. Why would Waylaren listen to him? He was promised to become bishop. Of course. Remember, Bishop Henry is Stephen's brother, and back then he was already one of the most influential clerics in all of England. But if Bishop Henry is in on all this, what chance do we have to turn this trial around? It is a public trial. All we want is for Philip to go free. We find a witness to expose Waylaren. Henry would have to play along to appear innocent. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's our best shot. James was the prior of Kingsbridge. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it, Philip recognized the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. But it's an important lead for us. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. That secret chamber is important. Everyone thought Prior James was dead, that he broke into the ice. And now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? Sub-Prior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. But how is Remigius involved? Philip told me that Remigius was there when Waylaren made Philip prior. Waylaren and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylaren later made Remigius prior of Shiring. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. He must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylaren told Remigius to make Prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, Remigius hid him away. But Waylaren never knew. Yes, that explains why he really didn't believe you, when you said you had seen James in the fire. Where James died, after all, and Remigius thought no one knew. We have to find Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. The trial will continue soon. People know you two. You shouldn't walk around showering like that. Ah, uh, he's right. I'll go look for him. Hmm, all right. Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom? All right. <laughs>